Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Chelsea, Chelsea. It's another week again. Welcome to Vertical Football. I'm your host, Komi. And with me, I have Amazing Shegu. Shegu, how are you doing today? Ah, it's great to be here. Great to be yeah. here. Awesome. We have so many things packed up today. But Shegu, first of all, five things we learned West Ham versus Chelsea. Let's go. I think uh, Nicola Jackson, amazing, amazing game from him. <laughs> I think that's what, my, what that's what a lot of Chelsea fans have been looking at in yeah. terms of they wanted to be clinical. And I think you could look at it that the two major chances he had in that game is he, he scored those two goals. I yes. think it's a very, very nice for him. I think he's beginning to show that um, the faith that the Chelsea board and the Chelsea owners placed in him by giving him a new deal and deci- and also deciding not to sign the likes of Vitor Osimhen. For now, he's looking as if that decision is actually paying off. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. What about Tushago? I think uh, West Ham, we have to say the truth, um, um, Lopetegui, right? Yeah. Um, really, you, you have to respect the, tra- tra- the tradition of, a, of the club you are coming into. <laughs> and you also have to understand the qualities of your players. Mm-hmm. Lopetegui should understand that the players that are in West Ham are not uh, players that can play the kind of possession, eye line kind of football he wants to play. Okay. These are guys like, when you see the likes of Sushek, the likes of Alvarez, you see the likes of, you know, you know, the, like, Antonio. These guys were built by, majorly by David Moyes to yeah. play the low block, hit on the counter attack. Mm-hmm. And now, you, you don't have the legs in the midfield, you don't have the legs in the defense to play a high line. You understand? To to do that, uh, what they call it, a high line, and then do um, defensive transition to yeah. quickly go back. You don't have yeah. that. Yeah. And then you're not putting those guys through that stress. Because I, what I saw today was like that kind of a stress. Mm. And you could see all the goals Chelsea scored, the three goals Chelsea scored, came from attacking transitions. Yeah, yeah. And they could have even scored much more than that. Chelsea just, Chelsea enjoyed themselves, really. Mm-hmm. Because Chelsea, it was like the inverse. You expected in this game that Western would be the one to play low block and defend. Yeah. White Chelsea will attack and Western will try to capitalize on the counter attack. Yeah. But I, I don't think maybe I think maybe Lopetegui thinks is maybe is 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 delusional in a way, thinking it's better than oh, it's better than uh, Mareska. And really Mareska now decided that okay, you can have the ball, but we'll be we'll be the one scoring the goal. And I think I like what I saw. Yeah, yeah, three shots. Yeah, the three I would say is um, Chelsea build up was very good. Yeah, I think I I know maybe you could also say uh, some people can also argue that maybe because West Ham's pressing was non-existent, yeah, right. but I like what Chelsea. I saw the build up and I said they know what they are doing. Mm-hmm. They know how they are moving the ball. I like the way where they play with a. You think at the beginning they are playing with a four, but you see at one point you see um Cucurella in the center of the midfield, the midfield becomes a diamond. Yeah. And now that they, they just do where to play the ball, I think it was nice. I think they are beginning to show signs that I think they are second on the Premier League table as we speak. Yeah, right. And so it really to show that they are, they, they are a team to watch out for, really. Yeah, the fourth one. The fourth one is um, the penalty. I think um, with all due respect to Chelsea and the way they played, but I, th- I think that penalty, the foul for 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 Fana against um, uh, some of some, some of you should be a penalty. If that's not a penalty, then what are you know? Which at a point when you change the rules too much, <laughs> or where the rules become so much subjective that anybody exactly. can just say this is my own opinion, you don't really know what the rules are. If that's not a penalty, they, they said the 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 touch was fleeting. It definitely new is English, new, new English, you know. There was one time, one game against for my United, one time that they said the it was a subjective, uh, subjective upside. Side. All this big English, they used to be deceiving us. You said something is a fleeting <laughs> touch. <laughs> definitely, it's going to be fleeting because one player is running, the other one is trying to hold him. It's going yeah. to be fleeting now. So, so is it until when they hold him by the neck and the neck is doing like this before you realize a penalty? <laughs> And so I don't know why. I thought if they are giving that penalty, maybe the game could have changed. And yeah, I knew it was 2-0 then, but maybe the game could have changed to 2-1. You know, Premier League, anything mm-hmm. can happen. Yeah. So I think... Okay, the fifth one. The fifth one, I would say they are good signs from Chelsea, really. Yeah. Comfortable win. Uh, very decent win. I, like, I saw a lot of things that I like there. Mm-hmm. I'm beginning to say that they have that capacity to, to, to give the position on the ball and control the game from a defensive position. That's what Ateta did mm-hmm. a, against Tottenham. You have the ball, you think you are you are making way, but you are giving us spaces behind your defensive line yeah. and then we'll capitalize on the time score goals. So three good goals, a fantastic game. As a has been doing something special at Chelsea. Okay. Well, bonus point for Western fans now. You know, Western fans in England right now, mm. at the first half, they they, they left. Mm. Many of them would not even yeah. come back. That's true. 70 minutes, they are leaving. So what's your bonus? What's the thing you have to tell them? 
I, 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 I don't think that coach will last long. Lopetegui, mm. I don't think it will last long. I'm even tipping Lopetegui to be the first manager to be sacked because you need to quickly understand that this team you have inherited from David Moyes, yes, you might over the years now to change to a, a possession-based yeah. Spanish kind of football, but now that team does not have the players to play that kind of football. You need to respect yourself, be humble, and play a low block and it's on a counter-attack. Maybe when you meet Teams like Ipswich, things like you know Everton, things that are below, you know, below the maybe from ten downwards, you can try and maybe, you know, try and express your new game pattern and play. But when you meet top teams like Chelsea, Arsenal, Man, Man United, and uh, Man City, just respect yourself, go and defend, and hit on the counter attack. Oh, awesome, awesome! Thank you, thank you for all this, and we hope Western fans will win the next one if possible. Yeah.